I'm Lauren Skunta and I'm the owner of Elbow Grease Design. I'm a stylist, art director, and a large-scale installation artist. Stratus is an art installation in the Van Aken district. Really, it acts as a huge wind chime. When the wind blows, it makes this really beautiful audio. By doing something so small over and over and over again, the repetitive process, it makes this large, beautiful mass. So from something little becomes something big. When I first started Elbow Grease about three and a half years ago, I was living in New York and I decided to move back to Cleveland. Um, one, because I have a good solid foundation here, my family's from here, um, and two, because studio space is readily available. So when I started out, I was mostly doing window displays because that was my background. From there, I would have brides come into the windows and ask if I could make something for their wedding, so that was an easy transition into wedding displays. From there, it led to photo shoot set design, and from there, I began styling and then eventually art directing photo shoots. For the most part, I'm my own fabricator just because I like the process, I like the repetitive nature, I like working with materials, but I think the most fulfilling part for me is physically making it. These are a series of animals made out of paper for the Joanne stores. There are 18 total, sea creature based, but there's some birds in there, just, just sea life in general. If I had to guess, for all of these 18 animals, I would say five to 700 pieces of paper. From start to finish, 30 to 50 hours, depending on the details. I really like getting into a flow state and just working piece by piece, layer by layer, texture by texture, just building upon the previous one. Um, so while a lot of people might be like, I can't believe you sit here and put paper on foam for 13 hours today, and I'm like, that time flew by for me, <laughs> so. There's definitely no rule book for how to do something. It's just a continuous cycle of learning, YouTubing, watching tutorials, figuring it out, failing, starting again. I think I would be lost if I didn't use my hands every day 